Embroidery is a great hobby because it's relaxing, it's inexpensive, and gives you a beautiful and useful product. But there are a lot of different products sold as embroidery supplies, and it can be confusing for beginners to figure out exactly what they need. Today, I'm going to help you figure out exactly what three tools you need to get started with embroidery. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pochagi, and embroidery. The term embroidery refers to embellishing a foundation with thread using a needle. And there are many different types of embroidery, such as cross stitch, hard hanger, and freestyle embroidery. And even though these types of embroidery are all really different and they require different fabric and thread combinations, they all use the same three basic tools. And once you have these, you're ready to get started with this great hobby. The first thing you will need is a needle. And there are a lot of different types of needle. So the kind of needle that you need will be determined by the stitching technique that you are doing. For all needles, check that they are smooth with no rough patches and that they are straight with no bends in them. A needle might gradually bend with use and when you start to notice that, it's time to get a new one. Counted thread embroidery like cross stitch, hard hanger, or tapestry requires needles with long eyes and a dull tip. These techniques do not require you to pierce the fabric but you are sliding the needle through holes that are already in the fabric. Surface embroidery requires you to pierce the fabric, so it needs needles with a sharp tip. All needles come in different sizes, and there's no such thing as one size fits all. Match the size of the needle to the size of the thread you are using. If the needle is too big, it will leave holes in the fabric, and if the needle is too small, it will be difficult to pull through the fabric. Most packages of needles come with multiple sizes included, so they can be used for many different projects. No matter what kind of embroidery you are doing, spend a dollar or two to get a pack of new needles rather than trying to use old ones from your grandmother's sewing box. A hoop might be necessary depending on the type of fabric that you are embroidering on. Heavy fabric like felt and denim is stiff enough that it will hold its shape and not be easily pulled by stitches. But if you are stitching on something like cotton or linen fabric, it will be difficult to hold it flat as you are stitching. So a hoop helps the fabric stay flat and straight and to not be pulled and bunched up by the stitches. Hoops contain an inner ring and an outer ring that can be tightened by a screw. They can be made from wood, plastic, or metal. To use them, place the inner hoop on the table and then put your fabric on top, centering the place that you'll be stitching. Then, gently push the outer ring onto the inner ring with two hands. Get a hoop that is a comfortable size to hold. I like a hoop that's about six to eight inches in diameter but for smaller projects, I'll use a smaller one. Hoops come in many different quality levels and price points. Cheap wooden hoops from discount stores can be used successfully, but over time, they will warp. These are a really good option if you want to frame your finished piece in a hoop. Before you use it, just check the wood for any rough spots that will snag your fabric or give you a sliver. A good quality hoop will last a lifetime. If you love embroidery and are going to use it over and over, it is worth the investment. Many embroiderers like to wrap the inner hoop with strips of fabric to help it to be able to grip the fabric better. Beyond a needle and a hoop, the only other tool you will need is scissors. Any scissors that will cut your fabric and thread is fine. Eventually, you might want to invest in a small pair of thread snips, but if you are a beginner, this is not a requirement. If you really don't know where to start, 
A kit is a great starting point. You can purchase kits that contain your fabric, thread, needle, and hoop. And once you've stitched a project with the kit, you'll feel more confident about choosing your own tools. If you have questions about specific items, the best option is to look for a small local shop that sells embroidery supplies. The staff there will be able to answer your questions and point you in the right direction. But once you have these three basic tools, you are ready to go. You can enjoy a lifetime of embroidery with minimal investment. You can find tutorials for different embroidery stitches and inspiration for projects at my website, evadastudio.com.